Okay, today's arbitrarily chosen topic is on and offline events. Online, offline. How do you know when your user is connected, when your user is not? More importantly, how does the browser know whether or not you're connected? So if you want to change something on the website, if you want to use local storage to save data instead of sending something to the server, how do you keep track of that? All right, so I've created a sample web page here um, inside the body very simple HTML. I've got a heading which has a span inside of it with the ID status and here I'm going to display unknown until DOM content loaded fires and then I'm going to replace this with online and then anytime there's a change to the status online offline I'm going to update this. I have a paragraph with nothing in it just creating some space and a paragraph after that with the class image and the class online. Now I have that there by default just so when the page loads. Reason I'm doing that is if the page loads, odds are you're online. So my h1 status, just centering the text, my default styling for this paragraph right here, I have a minimum height, a maximum width, some margin, I've centered it on the page, I'm centering the text inside that, uh, font size, color, text shadow, so just some pretty standard boilerplate type CSS. And then I've got a background image. So my default image is this black and white grayscale image of a table with a computer, a coffee cup on it, and the image is blurred. It's coming from a image uh, website that provides images for doing placeholders and stuff like that. So there's my image, my default one, and then when the user goes online, I'm changing it and I'm replacing that blurred image with the non-blurred color version of it. So as you go online, offline, I'm going to be swapping these images in and out. Now there is one thing to keep in mind with that. If I'm displaying this image and the person goes offline, there's no way for me to fetch a new image. And that is why here, as my default, I'm putting this. Now this may not load right away, so I have to also come up with another way of getting the image cached in the browser. And we're going to do that through JavaScript. Alright, so there's the basic setup for the page. A little bit of CSS, a um, couple lines of HTML. Now for the JavaScript, the important part. I have two event listeners on the window object, not the document object, but the window object, the browser itself, and we're listening for online and offline. These are built-in events for the window object. We're going to call a function called change status, which I have down here, and this is where we're going to handle the swap back and forth between whether or not you're online offline. And then I also have a DOM content loaded event. In here, I'm going to check to see what my current status is. Am I currently online? Okay, the page is loaded. Am I online or is this just something that's coming from the cache? If I am online, then I want to make sure that I set this up properly. So actually, I'm going to remove that from there. I'm going to add that status if the person is online. All right, so let's start with the change status. When the event toggles back and forth between online and offline. When that happens, we are past an event object, like all event listeners. This one will have inside of it a property, ev.type. Type is the property being passed in, and that is going to be equal to the string online or the string offline. And that's really the only thing that we need out of this event for what we're doing here. I want to know what those are, and I want to write one of these values up here. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'll say document get element by ID status. That is our span inside the heading. And we're going to set the text content to ev.type. And just for the heck of it, we're going to convert it to uppercase. There we are. So when the status changes, this function's fired, and we're going to write what the status is here. So let's um, load that up. Use our live preview from brackets. 
open up the page. There we go. Current, currently unknown. Don't know what the status is. If I turn my Wi-Fi off, there we go, offline. If I turn my Wi-Fi back on, online. Okay, and this is the default style. We haven't added the online class yet, so we're not seeing the other image. This was my default. All right, great, that worked. So actually, we'll, we'll close that. We'll reopen it each time. All right, so we're displaying the online offline. We know that part is working. Now, another way to get the image cached, just in case things happen really quickly and the image doesn't get downloaded and put into the cache, what we can do is we can create a new image. So I'm creating an image. I'm not putting it on the page, just in memory. And I can set its source to the one that I want to cache. So down here, I'm going to take this one, copy that, and put this into my source attribute. This is going to load the image into memory. So regardless of what happens going forward, I will have a copy of this image. As long as I've been online once, or the online offline has triggered once, or I've called this function once, I will definitely have this image cached. So when I go offline, I'll be able to display it. Okay, so that's the uh, image loaded. And now we're going to check that ev.type. So if that is equal to online, that's when I want to add this class online. And there's one other thing I'm going to do in just a moment. So we're going to set our document query selector, find the thing with the class image, which is this paragraph, or we could be more specific and say find a paragraph with that. And we're going to set the class list property. I'm going to call the add method to add online. Okay, so the status could be online or offline. I want to add the online class to this. Whenever I call this function and my status is online, I want to change this and say, hey, you're online now. But once I've done this once, I need to be able to get rid of that as well. So what I'm going to do is, since this status function is going to be called multiple times, every time it's called, I'm going to update this element right here to just img. So this line right here, just say class name is equal to this. I'm overwriting any values that are in the list with just this one. So here, class image is, this is what I'm doing. This one line of code is putting it back to just this. If there was another class name, it's gone now. And I'm checking, are you online? Okay, if you are, then I will put this class back in. Okay, so there's the class handled. And last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some text inside here just to have something. And we will... So I'm using this bit here again and again and again. So that's my paragraph now. So this is P. This is P down here, p dot text content. There we go. I've reduced my code. Go find the paragraph with the class image, put it into this variable, and then set the class name and add to the class list if you are online. And now I'm going to set the text content to status is. And actually, we're going to use the concat method. And we will add the ev.type. That is the current status. So status is, and then whatever the ev.type is. And once again, we'll convert that to uppercase. There we go. Okay, so the status is going to change to swap the image out and to 
put the text inside there. So let's try that out. There we are, we're unknown, we'll turn the Wi-Fi off. There we are, status is offline. So the class was changed to remove the online one if it was there. This text is put in and this image was loaded into memory if it wasn't already there. So it's been cached now. Turn the Wi-Fi back on. And online, status is online, and there's our color image. So now, every time the person loses connection, this will automatically toggle between the two of them. Simple enough. Okay, great. Now, the one last thing is when the page loads, I want to check for starting, a starting status on whether or not it's online or offline. This is going to be found inside the Navigator object, and there is a property called online. So this line of code is going to check to see, okay, does there does a property online exist? And if so, is it set to true? If you want to be really explicit about it, we can set that to true. Otherwise, we're going to assume that you're offline or it doesn't know what the property is, so we're going to set it back to the other way. And how do we do that? We call this function. We call change status. Now, we don't have an event here. I could manually create an online or an offline event and pass it down, but really, all we're looking for inside of this function is an object with a property called type. And the value of that is either going to be online or offline. So, why don't I just create an object inside here, give it a property called type, and set that to online or offline. There we are. So we are faking creating an object that is the online offline status. So there's no event being passed in here, it's just an object. When the page loads, we're going to be passing one of these two over to here. And I will call this function. There we go. So we will refresh the page. Okay, we're good. I turn it off and then I reload the page. It says offline. Offline. Turn it on. Refresh the page. Boom, it knows that we're online. So that's everything you need to know about online and offline. I will put the code in a code gist and put the link in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.